Hi, I'm Mike from Rick's Motorsport Electrics. In this video, we're going to be showing you how to take the grommet off your old stator and put it on your new one. Also going to be going over proper crimping techniques so that you can replace the terminals and plug-ins on just about anything you need. So let's get started. Here is a quick list of tools you're going to need for this job. Tape measure, wire cutters, crimpers, wire strippers, and needle nose pliers. Okay, you've used your manual, you got your stator out of the bike, you got it on a clean, well-lit area to work on. First thing you're going to want to do is take measurements. Now, right here is where, this is called a tie-off. This is where the leads come off the stator and go to the rest of the harness. From the last tie-off, you want to measure from there to where the grommet is. So you're going to take out your tape measure. Go ahead and measure where the grommet starts. This one's six inches. You're going to want to write these down. Next, you're going to want to measure from the end of the grommet to the end of the connector. This is 20 and a half inches. Also, if you're installing new sheathing and it's not pre-cut, you're going to want to measure the length of that so you can cut it to the right length when it's time to put everything back together. After that's done, you also want to take note of how the leads go into the connector. This one's simple, it's just three black leads, but if you have different colors, it can get slightly confusing. I find if you make a small diagram, it makes the job a lot easier. Also going to want to do the same thing for the grommet. Now that you've recorded all your measurements and you're comfortable with them, it's time to start taking off everything that you need to to get at the grommet so you can put it on the new stator. First things first, you want to cut off the connector. Now that that's out of the way, you can just discard the old connector. Remove the sheathing. Next, remove the grommet. This might take a little bit of force, but just slide the wires right through. And you're going to want to save the grommet. Now we've got our grommet from the old stata, ready to install it on our new replacement stata. Go ahead and insert the wires into the grommet in the same order as the original. Once you've got the wire poked through a little bit, this is where the needle nose pliers make things easier. Go ahead and grab the tip of the wire, just pull it right through. Continue with the rest of your leads. Once you have all the leads in the grommet, you need to place the grommet at the same place in the harness where the old one came out. So you want to measure from the tie-off to the edge of the grommet. Make sure it's the same. Now that you got your grommet installed on the new replacement stator in the proper position, it's time to install the sheathing. So you want to take your leads, bunch them up, and insert them into the sheathing. And you're just going to want to feed them through until they come out the other side. After you get the sheathing on, you want to take another measurement, make sure from the grommet to the ends of the wire is the same as what you recorded before. Little trick with the sheathing to make the next part easier, if you grab the wires, you can pull the end of the sheathing back to give you a lot more space to work with on the wires. Okay, a quick note on stripping the wire back to install the terminals. You want to make sure you strip enough insulation back so that the bare part of the wire can see within the inside of the uh, terminal while still leaving enough for the outer tabs to lock around the insulation. If you strip too much back, there's no room for the larger tabs to grab around the insulation. You won't have a secure fit with your terminal. If you don't strip enough back, you won't be able to attach the bare wire to the terminal. You won't get a good connection. All right, I got a couple examples right here of a good crimp and a bad crimp. On this terminal, you can see that the long tabs of the terminal are crimped around the insulator of the wire. The short tabs are crimped around the wire itself. And that's how you want to do it. And this one right here, too much of the insulation was stripped back, and now the long tabs of the terminal are crimped around the copper as well as the short tabs. There's nothing holding on to the insulator. That's what you want to avoid. Now that you've got your leads through the grommet, 
and you've got the sheathing installed, and you've measured and cut your wires to the proper length, it's time to strip the installation back so we can install the terminals. So this is where a good set of wire strippers comes in, makes the job a lot easier. You're going to go ahead and strip all your leads back. Make sure they're at the proper length. And then we can go ahead and install the terminals. Um, I found the easiest way to do this is to take your crimpers, install your terminal, clamp it down just enough to hold it there but don't crush the tabs in yet. That leaves you free to take your wire, insert it into the terminal, and crimp down on it. You can go ahead and repeat this for all your remaining leads. Now we just have to slide the terminals into the connector. Be sure to consult your diagram that you took to make sure you're putting them back in the right order. This is fairly straightforward. The terminals only slide into the connector one way from the back. So you go and gently insert the terminal into the connector until you feel the locking tab click. Give it a little pull to make sure it's in there securely. And go ahead and repeat that for the rest of your terminals. Okay, now we got them all in there. Just want to slide the sheathing back and you're ready to go. Well that's it for this video. Remember you can use these techniques when replacing any connectors or terminals. It doesn't just need to be a stator, a rec reg, or pretty much anything else. Hope this video helped you out, and thanks for watching.